kids, I'm Gandhi. In India, I'm known as the father of the nation. I'm going to share with you my life as a story today. This was my house. Come on, let's go inside. That's my dad, Karamchand Gandhi, and my mom, Putli Bai. I was born to them on October 2nd, 1869 and named Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. I was born and grew up in a state called Gujarat in India, in the Porbandar district. That's my friend you see, Sardar Vallabhai Patel. They have built a statue of unity in Gujarat recently for him. That's awesome! That's me as a little boy. And that's how I actually looked like in photo. I loved watching stage dramas when I was young. And what such character called Harichandar impressed me a lot. He was a king who always spoke the truth. One day at school, an education inspector came and asked everyone to write the correct spelling of kettle. My teacher told me that I misspelled the word and to ask my friend for the right answer. I told my teacher I will accept my mistake and I will not ask my friends for answer. I like to be honest and true always. As a teenager, I was a very curious boy. I had a friend who influenced me to some bad habits. He also told me to start eating meat because I was so thin. My family were pure vegetarians. They didn't eat meat. So I felt very bad eating meat secretly. But I apologized to my dad later. I was so surprised that my dad hugged me for being honest and true and for accepting my mistakes. That's when I realized the power of truth. I had an early marriage when I was 13 years old with Kasturba. I then moved to London to study law. After three years, I earned my degree and came back to India and practiced law for some time. I later moved to South Africa to work as a lawyer. I was shocked to see racial discrimination against Indians there. I also faced it myself. One day, when I was on a train to work, a British man told me he doesn't like to see a brown man like me traveling with him. I told him I have the ticket and I have the right to travel. And then they threw me out of the train on a platform. I understood if a lawyer is treated like this, what happens to a common man? I decided to do something about this. I then organized many meetings and made public speeches. We did non-violence protests for our equal rights. That is when I met Tiliadi Valiame, a 16-year-old Tamil girl in South Africa who inspired me to successfully continue the fight for equality. After some successes through our equal rights protests, I returned to India in 1915. British ruled the India at that time. I learned there were a lot of taxes imposed on Indians then. I wanted to make a change. So I joined the Indian National Congress Party. During this time, Sardar Vallabhai Patel saw my English speeches and ideas and told me to travel around India to understand the people of India and serve them better. While traveling, I came to Madurai city. I saw how the farmers and the poor lived and dressed. My choice of clothing changed on this trip. I started making my own simple hand-spun clothes with a spinning wheel. I refused to wear Western clothing from thereafter. I also did many non-violent protests. The Salt March or the Dundee March to break the British salt laws was very well known where we did a 24-day march to the sea and made salt. I focused on satyagraha, which means holding on to truth, a principle of non-violence. I engaged in fasting and more non-violent protests. I was jailed many times for this. People of India call me as Mahatma, meaning a person regarded with love and respect. Eventually, we succeeded and India earned its independence on 15th August 1947. I was then assassinated on January 30, 1948 by an Indian named Nadaram Godse, as his beliefs differed from mine. One of my favorite quotes is, you must be the change you wish to see in the world. 
This is my resting place in New Delhi, the Rajgad Mahatma Gandhi Memorial. And my life's teachings and notable things like photographs and writings are now under display in Sabarmati Ashram, Ahmadabad, Gujarat. To know more about me, you can read my biography book called My Experiments with Truth. I've also inspired many world leaders and social activists such as Nelson Mandela and Martin Luther King Jr. who also followed my principles on non-violence. So kids, try to follow these key principles in life. Be true to all, be honest in everything you do, don't get into bad habits, follow non-violence paths to achieve success. And remember the three wise monkeys. See no evil, hear no evil, and speak no evil. Well, we have come to the end of my story. Hope you kids enjoyed it. If you like this video, please click like and share it with your friends. Also subscribe to Kids Light Up channel.